Easter Sunday in 2021, his, his daughter and her family came over to their house to spend the day with Mark and his wife. And the next day, his daughter called him and said that she had tested positive uh, for COVID. And I believe her, the, her daughter's husband did as well. And Mark played golf that Monday. He played golf that Tuesday. He felt fine. Then he started not feeling so good. And he never even tested himself. He knew he had it. He knew what the symptoms were. The vaccine, he hadn't decided yet whether he was going to get the vaccine, but it wasn't available to him. Because, you know, at the beginning, it was difficult to get the vaccine. You know, they did it by age group or different demographics. In any event, he, he hadn't been uh, vaccinated yet. Um, and then he, he wound up feeling a bunch of symptoms. And um, two nights in a row, he fainted in his house, once in the kitchen. Uh, and his wife came running down the steps and um, and helped him get back onto a chair. And she called 911, but uh, they didn't take him to the hospital. And then the next night, and he was having trouble sleeping. Hmm. Um, and, and the next, the next night, you know, his wife would always go to sleep before him. He was trying to like read or make himself tired and he goes up the steps and, uh, he gets up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. You'll find that out when you get to be our age, you go to the bathroom at weird times in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah. And so he gets, he gets out of bed and he's feeling a little dizzy. So he lies down again. And his wife says, are you okay? Cause I guess he woke her up and he goes, yeah. And then he gets up and he, he just faints again and falls face first on his marble bathroom floor. And there's a picture. He showed me the picture from that night, from the hospital room, rather. Um, he showed me that picture in his house and then he sent me, I'm not sure it's exactly the same picture, but it's a picture I use in the book. It looks like he went 15 rounds with Ali with his arms tied behind his back. I mean, his face was completely black and blue. And it was from that point forward that uh, he just had a a god-awful time with COVID. Now, his wife, who finished up her law degree at Harvard, so that we're talking about a a, a very intelligent woman. Now, she's not a doctor, but, you know, she thinks the virus attacks the weakest part of the body. And in Mark's case, she thought it was his brain because of all the concussions that he had suffered uh, Mm -hmm. during his playing career. Now, that makes sense to me. I don't know if medically it's it's right or not, but it kind of makes sense. The virus never attacked his lungs. It it attacked, you know, he he had mental health issues as a result, you know, like you you mentioned before, paranoia, depression, uh, trouble sleeping. Mm -hmm. And you know, the thing that was really fascinating to me, Ty, is, and I, I'm trying not to give away too much of the book, but um, th- this is a story. You can't, you can't really tell it halfway. So I am hope people, will, you know, still want to read the book to get the other details on it. But Mark played with Dave Dewerson at Notre Dame and with the Giants. And Dave Dewerson killed himself um, because it would turn out to be CTE. Mark finished up his career playing with Andre Waters in Philadelphia. Waters killed himself for the same reasons I just outlined for Dewerson. Bavaro got to know Junior Seau through uh, Bert Grossman. I don't know if you remember him. He was a defensive end for the Chargers. And so through Grossman, Bavaro and Junior Seau became friends. And Junior Seau killed himself for the same reasons as Dewerson and, and Waters. So there's a period there when Mark described his brain as being on fire. And he's sitting in his living room in the same chair that, that he was sitting in the day I was talking to him. And he said, and he could never understand how these guys who he's friends with, how life could be so terrible and the depth of despair that they were suffering from had reached a point where they were, they took their lives and left their families behind. How could that possibly happen? How can anybody ever feel that way? And Mark is sitting in that chair saying, I finally understand. And praying for a heart attack to die. 
and have the intellectual side of them saying, you're going to get through this, and you have a family that loves you, get rid of those thoughts. And then you have the emotional side saying, how long can you stand on the edge? And this is his words. How long can you stand on the edge of a cliff before you finally jump? And fortunately, the intellectual side won out over the emotional side. And, you know, obviously, everybody is happy for that. But um, the the injuries he suffered from falling face first in his bathroom was far worse than any football injury he ever suffered. And I've already told you about the broken jaw. We talked about how his career ended um, because of debilitating knee injuries. He actually played three more years after the Giants said you should never play again. Um, but it was, it was COVID that was responsible for him suffering uh, the worst injury. And then like a, an addendum to the story, and I was able to put this in the book right before my deadline. And, and this is almost like, you know, piling on, like God was piling on here, but a year later, he's feeling better and he's playing, he's playing golf, which is one of his passions. And he's playing with a buddy of his and his tee shot lands in the rough and he doesn't know what's underneath the rough. Cause it was like, I guess it was, um, loose grass or shrubbery or whatever. So he doesn't know what's underneath of it. So he chips the ball out of there and a rock jumps out of the shrubs as he hits the ball and it, it comes at him so fast he couldn't even close his eye or put his hand up and he suffered uh, a scratch retina and he had to go back to the emergency room and it, it, and this is after he had gotten through the worst and been months months removed from the worst of his long it's called long COVID as I learned yeah. um and he gets hit in the eye by a rock playing golf. I mean, as I say, it's like that was piling on already. I mean, leave the guy alone. Yeah. Enough. Yeah. 